Hi, I'm Leslie Kaisley. I'm the registrar with the PEI Museum and Heritage Foundation. I'm Jason McNeil, and I am the site director at Orwell Corner Historic Village and the education officer for the PEI Museum and Heritage Foundation. And we took part in Reorg Atlantic. Beginning of the project, um, our storage space was really, our, our furniture actually took up a larger footprint than was really kind of useful. Um, we had these large yellow cabinets that were stacked in the center. They were stacked but three high, and there was all this dead space in front of it. Um, so those got moved off to the side, and that made room for swing space and eventually for the, the mobile storage. So we had on hand um, excessive amounts of pegboard. We already had twill tape, um, scissors, a screwdriver, measuring tape, hammer, and the and the, the hollow wall the hollow wall screws, which yeah. made it a lot easier to fit things on to the pegboard. Yeah. So it was in areas that we had previously never used as storage, like on the backs of walls, um, in between the mezzanine boards, or on, on flat surfaces. And all of the artifacts that were chosen to go on the pegboard were stable and in good condition, yeah. so they could handle being hung. So what we did was we used the pegboard and we screwed it on from the outside just so that we could fit things inside the three and a half inches of the of the two by fours that are there. That way the things don't protrude out into the aisles and you know you can safely pass by them without knocking them off. By putting the pegboard on the outside of it and storing the smaller artifacts on the inside, we've just made dead space usable. So the little anchors, they have a hole in them which the twill tape fits nicely through. And so you just get the right size piece. The only thing we would change if we were doing it over again is that we would probably put them on hinges so that we could move them more easily, get at them more easily from behind if we needed to. Yeah.